I'm the food disciple. I'm a food blogger and welcome to my channel. So for a while now, I've been blogging about my recipes on my website. And I know sometimes it's kind of hard to understand the whole process of making a dish just by reading through a recipe book. Even the bloggers have tried their possible best to make it easy to understand ex explaining every process step by step. I get it. I'm a visual learner as well. I've learned a whole lot from YouTube. That's why I decided to extend my passion to YouTube and create my own recipe videos, which you can follow through. So guys, this is my official video, so please guys, be very nice to me, positive vibes only. And if you haven't already, subscribe, what are you waiting for? Hey guys, so these are the list of ingredients we're going to be using today. We have the fresh tomatoes, the red chocolate peppers, onions, garlic cloves, um, the chicken thighs, carrots, as well as the jutlis, which is the star of the show. The ingredients and measurements will all be in the description box below. So we're going to start by blending our tomatoes, um, the scotch bonnet pepper. Um, red shepherd pepper and onions we're just going to blend this if you notice i didn't use any uh, water to um, blend this uh, pepper mixture the tomatoes is going to release all the water that we need um, to blend it our pepper mixture in an empty pot and we're going to boil this on medium heat until all the water dries out and it just kind of becomes a thick paste if there's a little water left that's fine but as little as possible but the idea is to so our next step is to season our chicken thighs with all purple seasoning all the measurements is in the description box below we're just going to make sure this is properly coated with um, um, all purple seasoning and yeah, make love to my chicken thighs. So now we're going to add about two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil in our cleaning pot. Uh, we're going to just heat this up on medium heat and we're going to brown our chicken at this point. I had to flip my chicken so that I needed it to be turned because my pot was sticking to the chicken or rather the chicken was sticking to the pot yeah so I had to flip it and but by all means let this brown I get that beautiful gorgeous color it's going to come in handy at it so now we're going to add our chopped um, vegetables. I just roughly chopped the sweet onions and our carrots and I crushed our garlic cloves with the back of my knife. So we're just going to put this in and let it cook and just sweat it down till it's a bit soft. Uh, that's what we're going to do now before we move on to the next step. to add our water and our seasonings um, we'll be using uh, the bay leaves salt and the bouillon powder you can use the cubes as well but I have the powder so that was what I made use of so we're going to make our stock our chicken stock with this that we're going to use in the stew at the end
so now in a clean pot we're going to add uh, about three tablespoons of vegetable oil on medium heat and then right after once it's uh, cooked down a bit we're going to add our pepper mixture that we boil down in the beginning we're just going to let this fry for about eight to ten minutes but before that we're going to season this beauty uh, with uh, paprika salt and the uh, bouillon powder that's basically all the seasoning we're going to use for this stew um, the rest of the sweetness is going to come from the chicken stock, stock that we're going to add later on. So again, just keep on stirring and try and scrape up the beets in the bottom of the pot that we got from the chicken. Just scrape it all and make sure everything is properly mixed. And just keep repeating this process like you see for about 8 to 10 minutes. This is like the most important part. Do not let the pepper mixture burn. So after about um, 8 to 10 minutes, we're going to add our chicken stock to our pepper mixture and make sure you properly stir and make sure everything is all coated together as well and nothing is left behind in the bottom of the pot. So just use your um, spoon and just you know try and scrape it together and make sure everything is properly mixed. And now we're going to put this on medium low and we're just going to let it simmer together. We're going to do this for another 8 to 10 minutes. So now you can see our stew is looking all good. Everything has properly simmered down and you can taste for seasoning now and adjust it if you need anything else. Just mainly the salt based on your own preference but for me everything is just good at this point and it tastes amazing. So now this is the final touch we're going to add our leaves our jute leaves and as well as i added some spinach to at the end because so i just wanted to give um this stew um a little texture to it because the jute leaves is a bit um slimy it draws like the okra if you guys know what okra is that's how the texture of the the jute leaves are so I added spinach to just give it a little bit of another texture and a balance because I know we're used to using spinach for vegetable stew for some people but yeah the spinach was gonna give it a different texture and balance and the taste together was just amazing So after our vegetables, we're going to leave it um, wide open, do not cover your pot and just let it cook down whatever water was in the vegetables is going to cook down at this point. Let it simmer away, again medium heat, we don't want our stew burning at this point in case you don't really have uh, the greatest parts because mine sucks, but at this point just let it simmer away. So now we're going to add our meat. Um, I ended up slicing the chicken thighs because I felt that it looked a bit better in this two slice and besides I didn't like the way my chicken brown because of my pot. So I ended up just slicing it in and I added um, prawns as well. Uh, a little soft and tough going on in the pot. Oh yeah and I ended up adding all the chicken thighs as well. One life please. It just looks amazing this way and with every bite there's going to be like a little bit of chicken just the way I like it so yes. So now just stir it and let it simmer for an additional 4 to 5 minutes so um, the juices from the stew will get penetrated into the meat. And voila! Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my god, this stew is so good. Trust me, it's not because I made it, but you guys should try it and let me know what you think. It is just that good. It's sweet with every bite. There was like a little bit of chicken there. I served this with basmati rice and it was just perfect. You can have this with anything else. I've tried it with pasta, you can have it with yams, or you can have it with plantains, whatever your little heart desires. This is something that you just have to get into guys, trust me, get into this. 